In this video, we'll look at what happens when we put HBr plus H2O. So this is hydrobromic acid. We're putting it in water. The thing you need to know about hydrobromic acid is that it's a strong acid. And that's really just something you have to memorize. So here's a table of strong acids and strong bases. And we can see hydrobromic acid, HBr, right here. That's a strong acid. So since it's a strong acid, that means it's going to break apart into its ions. It's going to dissociate completely. So we need to look at the charge on the hydrogen and the bromine. So if we look at the periodic table, we can see hydrogen here in group one that has a one plus charge and then bromine over here with the halogens, that's one minus. So we know the charges for the H and the Br in HBr. So now we can add it to the water and see what happens. We said HBr is a strong acid, so it's going to break apart into its ions, the H plus and that Br minus, that's the bromide ion. Because these are dissolved in water, we're going to write a little Aq after them. That means aqueous, dissolved in water. Sometimes you'll see people write H2O above the arrow. That's okay as well. But since we have aqueous, we've already kind of said that it's dissolved in water. So this is what happens when we put HBr plus H2O. Note that sometimes this H plus here, it's written as H3O plus. This is the hydronium ion. Really, when it's aqueous, H plus has joined with a water molecule to make H3O plus. So you'll see it written either way with the H plus or the H3O plus. This is Dr. B discussing what happens when we put hydrobromic acid plus water. Thanks for watching.